Oh, that one's flying over. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> wow. Look at that. Is that just a beautiful walleye up here? Nice. Okay, okay, it's time for a video. No, 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 calm down, calm down. What is going on guys? Today we are back with another video. It is me, we got Surly, and uh, we're flying solo today, buddy. It's just me and you, calm down, I know. We got all too excited right there, sit down. Or come up here, come to your captain's seat, there you go. It is me and Surly, and we are out here today filming the video, which has been probably the most requested video anytime in the last couple of uh weeks or months here and that is featuring a new product which uh maybe you guys have seen a little bit about a new technology this forward facing sonar we're going to be showcasing today the hummingbird mega live this bad boy right here we'll probably do another video on rigging because i got some additional parts coming but you guys have probably seen this in the boat now for the last month or so and you guys are like Tom, let's do a video on the hummingbird mega live obviously right well Kind of wanted to play around with it first so i didn't sound so i was sounded seasoned when i actually talked about it and started kind of using it and showing it and it's always kind of a tricky video to film because it's super important that we are capturing uh what's going on so it's kind of this going to be this twofold video where you guys will watch me fishing you'll watch what the fish are doing on the mega live unbelievably powerful tool and for the most part can really change the way you fish a lot of times and that's what we're going to go to in this video and we're gonna be fishing two different presentations today for these early summer walleyes. We're fishing a lake in northern Wisconsin today and this early summer time frame very much about the leeches. We're gonna be fishing one drop shot, which we should be able to fish right, and you guys should be able to see that bait pretty good on the sonar. And uh, we're gonna be fishing the slip bobber and leech, putting a leech on both presentations. So these fish are kind of tucked up in a lot of these weed edge situations right now. So the, the mega live and these forward facing or down facing sonars aren't just great for seeing that fish's reaction, but also kind of seeing the fish when you cruise through an area where side imaging might be a little bit more difficult to see. So those are kind of the couple things we're gonna go through. Hopefully we catch some nice walleyes. You guys get to see them eat, see those pods of fish on the mega live and uh, should be kind of a cool video. It's a beautiful day. It's kind of hot out, pretty flat calm, which is never really a great situation when you're fishing for fish this time of year but with the mega live we should be able to see those fish make pinpointed cast to them if we have to see the reaction and ultimately get them to bite using some awesome new technology so stay tuned we got to get the trolling motor down surly and uh, we got to start finding some fish in the weeds and uh give me a second here and hopefully we should locate a couple pods of fish and start catching them so just like any tool you have that helps you catch more fish, it's all about how you use it. It's not like a one, it's not like the, the live or the Hummingbird 360 or side imaging or down imaging. There's no like cure all. There's not like one you just use every single day for every different situation. And what we're doing right now is we're still using our side imaging to find these fish. Now I also have the live down and we'll kind of get you guys some dual views, I guess, of what those, what those fish look like kind of when we start seeing them here and so here we go all right we have a pot of fish on the side imaging and they're right off the left so i'm just going to hit spot lock right now now what i'm going to do is and i might just kind of turn my side imaging off so you guys can see these fish a little bit better but you can probably if i turn them on right now what you're seeing is a pod of fish these are walleyes these are like bluegills and stuff like that so maybe right Let's we'll see if we can get a real nice shot of them. There's actually some walleyes there. We might have to back up, but you can see all that bluegill and perch fry up high. Not interested in that. Here's a walleye right here. Let's we'll see what else we can see here. Here's a couple more back in the weeds. So, all right, what we can do now is take our slip bobber and start, you know, kind of casting to those fish. And this is a lot of times what you're seeing in a lot of different places um, this time of year. You know, a lot of times we're using the side imaging to kind of get on those fish. And then we're using the live to kind of really pick them apart once we get around them. So it's kind of this twofold approach. And uh, my fish are already spooking because it's so calm, which might present a little bit of an issue today. But um, this is kind of what we're doing. And in a second here, hopefully we're finding some. I also got to go substantially deeper here. And hopefully in a second here, we'll start putting a couple walleyes in the boat. Oh, that one's flying over. 
Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> wow, what a cool shot right off the bat too. You guys can see that weight go down, the leech on there clearly, and the fish just come up and swat it. What an awesome shot and what an awesome tool the Hummingbird Mega Live is. And it's really gonna revolutionize. I think we're still in the early stages. Some people are doing a lot of it. Some people aren't, you know, it's kind of like, it always reminds me of like side imaging when it came out. Um, you know, there was like a several years where like, oh, should we get side imaging? Is it really, can it really help you out and show you more fish? And once every, you know, it's gonna, everybody's gonna have it eventually, right? And it's really gonna change the way we fish. Um, we're much more gonna get away from patterns, I think, that are just meant to cover a ton of water in some situations, and more so go to patterns that are meant to be put right in front of a fish that you can see clearly on um, the Hummingbird Mega Live or that kind of a tool. There we go. It's just kind of a nice wallet to get things going. And you guys can see how long that took with the drop shot. I mean, immediate. Dropped it down into him, watched the bait fall to him, fish shot over, ate it, feel it on the rod, and set the hook. I mean, it really can't be a more simple deal. And I got real flat conditions today and really clear water. So we're going with the all natural live bait. And in June, that's a big old jumbo leech on there. So let's drop back down, see if we can't pop another one off the old mega live. right there <laughs> I don't know how well you guys could kind of see that but you know the whole advantage of running mega live like this is not just so that you can see your bait and watch that interaction the whole time it's that I can spin this thing around and say okay there's a pot of fish right there and you guys could see clear as day you know I cast it put the bait right in them and I uh, you could kind of see them reacting to it right away so I don't need to you know there's two kind of ways you can look at this one is, okay, you can watch the fish bite. Okay, how beneficial is it to watch the fish bite? Well, in a situation where you're trying to see the fish's reaction, it's super beneficial to kind of watch how that fish reacts and see what he does. The other thing is, what's more beneficial? Being able to pinpoint those fish or being able to watch that interaction. And for me, it's being able to just unbelievably precisely pinpoint those fish with a tool like the Mega Live. And then if you can watch them interact, obviously even better. But the whole benefit here is, uh, um, you know, kind of, kind of a twofold. We can spin this, we kind of find the fish, we spin it around, we say, okay, those fish are 20 feet right there. They show up clear as day in the Hummingbird Mega Live. I pitch right out to them, watch the bait go down, watch the fish go down, anticipate the bite, set the hook. Unbelievably powerful tool, and you guys can see how quick and effective this is. And there's just a beautiful walleye, and what's normally a pretty tough day. Really high skies, no wind, super clear water but we're putting that drop shot right in front of those fish and getting an immediate at reaction, almost by kind of surprising those fish with the bait right on top of them like that super fast. Yep. <laughs> oh, was that a cool bite or was that a cool bite, Surly? Oh, you can see them just fighting all around down there. Wow, is that a cool way to fish, man. So cool. I just kind of turned my side imaging on for a second because that's kind of that little flashing interference you see. You can get away from that just by moving this transducer forward, but another really nice walleye here. Man, to watch them eat right off the live. That is pretty cool right there. We'll give you guys a look at this. So this is about as good as it gets. Oh, come here, buddy. 
Oh man, you know, as we were kind of swiveling around, I was swiveling it just to kind of follow those fish like that. And there we go. I mean, right off the side of the boat, dropping it right in their face, watching them bite it, and then reeling them in and watching them fight on the way up. It doesn't get much better than that. And it seems like the, the slip bobber or the uh, drop shot, both successful. Look at that. Is that just a beautiful walleye up here? Nice, thick, heavy. That classic northern Wisconsin gold, <laughs> it's about as good as it gets right there. Let's let that guy go. Too cool, Surly. I know it's hot out today. When it's hot days like this, I'm jumping about every two months. Wow, <laughs> now you can see those fish again right there. Oh, there he is fighting. You know, just kind of cruising through with the big motor even. Saw that pot of fish out there, threw right to him. And you know, when it comes to this technology, everybody always has the commercial shot in their head, which is kind of what I always call it, where you know, you drop the bait, you can see the bait dropping, you can see the fish come up and bite the lure. Kind of like that last shot we had, which is a super cool shot. Now, how practical is that? That's always the question, right? Do you need to see that fish bite or not? It's more important for finding a lot of these fish. Like I'm just kind of cruising down around here, swinging this thing around. And when I see a big glob like that, I'm putting that leech just right on top of them. And that Hummingbird Mega Live is unbelievably effective for this style of fishing. You know, we're fishing either a lot of, there's some rocks here and there's a bunch of weeds. So there's a lot of stuff that would hinder our ability to see these fish with just a, a side imaging. So having something you know, like this, where I can just spin it around, see anything that's up off the bottom is super effective way to fish. And you guys can see it there just right in that last clip. Now we just kind of rinse and repeat and do it again here. So I can already kind of see one of the questions we're gonna get asked here a lot is Tom, why did you put it in the back of the boat and not in the trolling motor like everybody else? Well, you kind of see a mixture. Some guys, it seems like more walleye guys kind of put them on the back, more bass guys kind of put them on the front. The only thing is if, if, if you put it in a trolling motor, I do so much fishing from a spot lock position. When I spot lock with the Minn Kota and it anchors me in the location, I lose the ability to turn it around and look for fish if I'm just fishing with it on the trolling motor. Now for me, like I said, I do so much fishing from a spot lock position. So let's say I spot locked. All right, so my boat's gonna start swinging here and the back end's gonna end up like this. And ideally my fish end up over here. So now let's say I can take this, turn it straight back, see my fish right there. Or if those fish move, I just start kind of looking around like this versus having to fish into the wind if, or if it was on the front or not be able to have that free range of motion while you're spot locked. So that was my thinking of it. Now this could all change in a year, who knows? But for right now, this is how I have it. On the back of the boat, I can sit right here and I got this on kind of a swiveling grand mount. So what I can do is just loosen it up, kind of turn this back towards me a little bit if I want, sit here, look just like this, see what I see, make those pinpointed cast of fish. And that's exactly what we're doing today. Oh man, here comes one shooting over to it. Oh, yep. Right there. <laughs> look at that. Look at that. That is fun. Another nice walleye here. I don't even know what to look at. If I should be looking at this, if I should be looking at that. It is does take a little bit to get used to. And there we go. And that was another one. I'm not sure if you guys could see the bait or not, but you could just see that one fish just flying out of the school. And about the time that happened, I think I said, oh, there should be one. I looked over, my bobber was going down. 
And that is how simple it really is. Well, there's not a whole lot to say. We kind of took a nice little run through, hopefully showed you guys some awesome, you know, kind of video captured some of the stuff that I'm looking at on the graph. You want to lick him, Shirley? He's a nice walleye. He sure is a nice walleye. There we go. Another beautiful Northern Wisconsin walleye. And this is a tool you guys are going to see us fish this just so much more throughout the season. Wanted to kind of have a little bit of time to get used to it and uh, fish it around a bunch of different stuff before we kind of showed you guys an awesome video. Very powerful tool, obviously, as you guys have seen today. And one I'm super excited to have in the works this year. I'm going to help find a bunch of fish, going to help catch a bunch of fish. And it's really going to take some of these patterns that you used to have to cover a large amount of water with search baits to catch fish into more of this pinpointed type of presentation like we're doing right here which is right up my alley because i love this kind of seek and destroy type of fishing so appreciate you guys watching this video if you guys are not yet please subscribe stay tuned for more content we'll see you next time